Hello and uh, welcome to episode. Uh, I have no clue. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hello and welcome to episode thirty of the uh, the car review series. I I know I've had a bit of a break. I've just not been. I've not really been feeling like I want to make videos recently, but. I think today, I've, because of this update which I just recently found on Gran Turismo, I've got wanted to go back into it again. This is um, going to be a bit different on this on this review because uh, Gran Turismo have added this this update where you can you can effectively create courses within uh, within your 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 mobile phone or your your smartphone, and um, yeah, so every, every single time I do a review, it's going to be a different track, and I'm going to be complete. I'm going to go completely blind into all of this so uh, there'll probably be a few crashes now and again um, today I'm, I am driving the uh, Fiat 500F from 1968 it has uh, 496 performance points 145 freight horsepower 468 kilograms or half a ton depending on which uh, what country you live in it's rear engine rear wheel drive with 19 kilograms force meter max torque and it's at 3.22 kilograms per brake horsepower power to weight ratio. Let's check all this stuff is okay. Yes, it is. And let's get onto the track. See what see what this track is like. <laughs> Hopefully, it will be good. But uh, I have no. I'm going completely blind into this, so it's going to be both a <laughs> review of the track and the uh, car. With this, um, oh, I need to do the car stuff. Sorry, um. But uh, with the um, these tracks, I might I'm, I'm thinking about possibly starting a sort of track review almost instead of a car review. I don't know if that makes any sense, but that's what I I might think about doing that. So we've got the back of the car. We've got the brake lights and the reverse lights. There are no reverse lights, even though it is a premium car. Uh, I think there's all the brake lights on the front. You've got the the front of the car. Which it hasn't. As, as as far as uh, body mods go, there is a small spoiler which seems to be glitched out on this car, and there is a, a carbon bonnet. We've got the lights. We've got the wipers, and we've got the horn. Now we've got the um, the bonnet view. Not bonnet view. This is the bumper view. Sorry, the speedometer only goes up to 80 miles per hour. I might end up changing the speed on this because it look, from the um, settings page it looked like it only went up to 65 miles per hour, so I might end up changing that. This is the interior view which I will be using because uh, it's premium. If you notice to the left it has the two red dials, uh, most of my premium cars have those, or three, but it doesn't have the option for the third one I don't think. And I don't think anything else works, but there's no, there's no, there's no rev counter so that's why the, uh, the dial for this one is, is important. And you've got the bonnet view, which uh, it looks down a lot. It's a, I don't know what car I had which did that, but this car looks down rather than up, so it, it's a bit weird when using the bonnet view. And we're back to the rear view. So uh, as for sound goes, it's uh, it looks like the turbo does a lot of effect to this car because I've got not much throttle and a tiny bit extra throttle. A tiny bit extra, and it goes right up to um, to bounce. So <laughs> this will be a fun review. As for burnouts, so let's check that. The That's a nice turbo sound. Let's wait for this uh, this Fiori to go past. There is no burnout, and let's get to back to the interior view where I can test the car. As I said, I'm going into the track completely blind, so I don't know what it's going to be like. And that's the car maxed out. Yeah, I'm going to change the speed of this car. <laughs> it's a bit slow. <laughs> it reaches 73 miles per hour. And the track seems a bit faster than 73 miles per hour. So I'm going to change it to... No, I don't want to leave the room. <laughs> um, to about... Um, let's make it 100 and 112. That should be alright. And we'll have to test the burnout again. Because it's a completely different setup with the... Uh, with the gear ratios and stuff like that. I don't know how long, the half of the video has been spent just talking about the... <laughs> I haven't even driven the car properly yet. 
Looks like the launch isn't that good, but we'll have to see. Well, I'm in control of the car now. There's the rear view of the interior, I didn't say that. It got the left and the right view. There's no wing mirrors. Well, <laughs> there is no burnout. It's also the worst launch ever. I believe this first corner I can make flat out. Yeah, it's just... It's, it's a bit shaky when it's going around the fast corners like that. Nope. The braking seems more sensitive than I thought it would be. Nope. Everything's very sensitive with this car. I don't know if that's because there's no power steering in the real life version of this car. Oh, bit of a slide going on. <laughs> oh, break for that corner as well. I'm liking this track, which is the track um <laughs> elevation changes and cambers and everything like that. Works well. Oh wow, this car just that's the yeah. So once you do lose um once you do lose traction in this car, it will um, it will let go and, it, and you won't be able to recover it. <laughs> going downhill, the car accelerates really fast, but going neutral or, or uphill, it doesn't like it at all. For example, this corner here. The car just can't deal with the bumps, it just, it just, it just can't deal with it. I've got straight up here, leading on, looks like a, a, um, a, sh a shallow corner, I don't know might be quite tight. It looks fairly tight so I'm going to slow down a tiny bit. Even though t <laughs> with this car a tiny bit of braking isn't really possible. You're either going to brake a lot or not at all. That's, a <laughs> that's your options with this car. <laughs> you either brake a lot or you don't brake at all. I, I keep forgetting there's only five gears which is a bit of a pain. Brake for that. Again with the brake, the braking is sent and it's let go. Yeah, the braking is very sensitive. No, oh, fine, go forwards. I wanted you to go in reverse, but I didn't get the gear in time, so it's just um, <laughs> it just uh, um, went forwards because of the uh, the descent on the hill. I don't know how. <laughs> I don't know how. Um, this is quite different, actually. It's a different feeling to driving around London or Monaco. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it does that a lot. It, I don't know. I think that might be conscious my mechanics rather than um, or conscious my physics. Sorry, rather than um, the car, where it's where it snaps back when you try to drift. Looks like we're coming up to the start line now. It's a bit. If I let go of the steering wheel, it's it's a bit shaky. It's not. There's a bit of. There's a lot of play in the steering wheel. <laughs> we're already we're already maxed out around 110. Oh, no, too much, no, that's a slide, that's all, okay. <laughs> this is difficult to control at high speeds. If you want a car to control at high speeds, I wouldn't go for this car, I think it's more of a cruising car. Even then, I don't think you get up to the speeds that you need to be at for cruising. But, uh, it's uh, it's not a racing car, because uh, you take it in, you take a line that's just a bit too too deep, like this one for example I'm going to do now, it's a, just a bit too deep, it will kind of... It's a bit um, un, uneven on the ground I guess. I'm not sure how to describe it exactly, but it's a bit... Oh, the corner's a bit sharp as well. Um, the corner's going to catch me out every time, I'm pretty sure it will. That's a lot of power going up the hill. I mean it's just getting there, it's not, it's not, it's not slowing down at all, which is nice. Oh, that's that's another type. Okay, <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. Yeah, the um, I like this track. It's a good track for elevation. I should try this track in um in my Subaru, so you see what it's like. I hope it should be. That's a slide. Yeah, the bumps just absolutely kill this car. They just kill this car. It just can't deal with the bumps that are on the road. I feel like I'm in a GTA race in some ways because um, with a GTA, if your car hits a bump, it, the car will spin, and there's nothing you can do about it really. Unless you have a really well-tuned car, it's um, yeah, it's difficult to. 
It's, it's that sort of thinning where I've got to kind of go wide and avoid the apexes where all the bumps are. But it seems it seems pretty um. I'm liking the way that Grand Chismo have done the course maker. I haven't made one myself, unfortunately. I really want to, but um, for some reason my device isn't compatible. I, I don't know if it's too new or too old, but uh, in the um, comments of of um, of uh, of the uh, I don't know what they call it. It's the place where you where you buy all the apps or or, or download all the apps. Um, it says my device isn't, isn't compatible, and in the comments, everyone's been. Uh, it says that everyone has an older device than mine, so I'm not sure if my device my device is too new or too old. So, and I've gone wide again, and I've spun it just. <laughs> I've spun it just uh, on the last corner, actually. Yeah, those those curbs are dead. You could almost you could almost roll cars on those curbs. It's pretty pretty dangerous curbs. I'm probably going to get... I'm not going to quite get three minutes, I don't think. It's going to be pretty close, but I don't quite think I will. Nope. It's not three minutes. <laughs> oh, dear. There we go. I got that line clean this time. I didn't... didn't um, it felt very shaky. It doesn't feel like it's... It doesn't... doesn't it doesn't like this... this um doesn't like these corners at all. It just shakes about all over the place, and you, you kind of you don't really have control of the car at all. Ah, uh, that's a slide. That was a big slide. I didn't want to be doing that in a uh, in this. No, that's a slide. How do I slide it? That is, I was going about 60, maybe 50 miles per hour, and I still span it. <laughs> I don't know how I managed to spin there. This is a difficult track with this car. I don't. This car isn't really designed for this track. I don't think. It's um. Yeah. Well, the, the speedometer maxes out at 120, so uh, 120 kilometers per hour it looks like. And I forget that corner is too sharp. And I spun it in a circle again. There's a lot of spinning outs in this episode. <laughs> uh, it's a rather spinny episode. Yeah, for um, around a. A, bu a bumpy track, a complex bumpy track like this, it's um, no, it's not really suited for this. And unless you're cruising, I, I don't think it's really suited. So, but I think, judging by the way the car drives, around a short circuit like London, for example, I think it would do, it would fare better. But I still don't think it would drive as nice as it could drive. I think the suspension's too stiff. I think that's what's causing the problems. I think the problems are the suspension is a bit too stiff. If you soften the suspension, it might it might behave a bit nicer over the bumps. But right now, it just hates the bumps. Absolutely hates them. No, I just can't deal with them. You can brake so late with this car. Though. That's why I love it. Because you can brake extraordinarily late and still get away with it. Oh, I'm finally getting used to the track after about 15 minutes of recording, <laughs> which is annoying. So. That's a slide. I want to avoid the sliding, but it seems rather difficult. I'm liking this chicane at the end. This chicane really, really works well. It really catches some cars out with the jump and everything. Wow, this, <laughs> this track is really good. Um, yeah, this, this has been. Uh, um, for um. For beginners, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't do it for beginners. Amateurs, again, I don't think I would do it. And professional, if you could tune it properly, with it so it doesn't spin out at every bump it meets, I think it would do okay. But I still don't think it would put up a fight against the other 500 PP cars on the um, on the dealerships. So yeah, this has been episode uh, 30 of the car review series, and uh, yeah, the cars. Uh, it's not a nice car to drive. You would think it would be nicer, but it's just not that nice. Uh, I didn't design this track. I, I forgot to mention that. I didn't design this track. It was, um, I joined someone on the track and then they left, so, uh, <laughs> Yeah, I've been uh, Zane's Gaming, and I will see you in the next video.